I am so excited. Why? I'll just keep it down. Filming. Because mum and dad came over recently. They drove down up across. It's up. <laughs> I knew that. I passed geography in high school. Actually, I didn't. And uh, I have proof because mum and dad, uh, they brought all of my records and photos and shit. You know how parents just like, they keep everything. Oh my God, he's lost his first tooth. Mum kept it all. All of the filth that made up Christian Hull, she put into these boxes and um, uh, delivered them. <laughs> and I've been going through them and I found my diary from 1997, 22 years ago. Look how cute it is. It's actually not, it's a bit weird. This is a riveting read. I should get this published, which leads me to some exciting news that this video is sponsored by Audible who definitely 100% said, let's turn this into an audiobook. I said it on the video, so it's confirmed, contract signed. They didn't say that at all. From what I can remember, I hated anything to do with writing or putting in effort into learning. So I remember, the, like I rem have vivid memories of this being the biggest punish of my life because mum and dad were like, I was so bad at spelling and grammar that they would make me write in this. So I'm pretty confident that the passages in here are going to be like, hi, I'm writing in you, bye. It says to dear Christian on your confirmation, love mum and dad, the 6th of June, 97. <gasps> treasured memories. There are no treasured memories in here. My confirmation. Like, what even is that? I know it was a religious thing where they like put oil on your head and they confirm that you're, I don't know, a Christian or something. Catholicism confirmed. And they put a cross of oil on your head and you have like a sponsor, which I, you know, sounds very Alcoholics Anonymous. And then the sponsor is like, I confirm thy. And it's just, it's a bit, it's a cult. Religion is just a massive cult. To celebrate my confirmation, mum and dad gave me this, <laughs> what every 10 year old would want, a journal to write their thoughts, prayers, hopes and dreams in. Chapter one, the sixth of the sixth, 97. I even wrote Friday, I am 10. Oh, I was so cute. Dear journal, just then I had my confirmation. Here we go. I sat in the fourth row. I was very nerves. Like, look at that. I was very nerves. Oh my God, I just noticed. Look at, I'm doing um, cursive. I've got, I'm doing running writing. <gasps> I was such a smart little 10 year old. How long did the running running last for? Oh, it's lasted for a little bit and it stopped. Two pages of, of running writing. I was very nerves. I was presented to Bishop Cryman. He put the oil on my forehead. After confirmation, we had a party. My sponsor <gasps> was Simon. He gave me footprints. Oh my God, I remember that. It was like a really religious poem. And it's like, footprints in the sand and footprints in life. God is real and Jesus will rise again and smite thy enemies. It's like, you know, it's a bit of a cult thing. So. My mum gave me this journal and a pray book. I also got a painting and a stained glass window. I had a good confirmation. That's all I wrote. Oh my God, this is a snooze fest. Four days later, it's a Tuesday, according to me, isn't it? Dear Journal, today I went to school. First we did homework. What? Homonyms. Homonyms? I think it's a class where you learn about homos in society. And because this is a very religious school, it was probably not a good class. I don't remember it. Maybe it's because I've blocked it out. Or a homonyms like hymns, but for homos. The man touched the man. I don't think we sung that at school upon reflection. Might edit that joke out. Oh my God, I go on to explain what they are. They are like words, sound the same, but have a different meaning. Example, past, past. There, there, then, we did maths. I am in, God, I had no full stops or commas. <laughs> oh, I was so honest. Look, it says here, then we did maths. In brackets, I'm in a special group. My maths group, not the special group, just the maths group, it's called Whiz Kids. Oh, that's so sad. That was obviously the group for the dumb idiots. And here I am. Oh my God, 10 year old Christian thinking, he, I'm in a special group called Whiz Kids because they're so smart. <gasps> the lies worked. Look how I spelt well, W-H-E-L-L. -L. <laughs> Is that 
that not how you spell it? Well, I better go. I should be in bed. It's past my bedtime because Janice, my next door neighbour, spelled N-A-B-O-W-R, Jesus Christ, I have some issues, is looking after me and I say I go to bed at nine when I really go to bed at eight. Oh, I'm so naughty. Oh my God, I was such a little goody two-shoes. This is the following day. Dear Journal, Adrian, my brother, woke me up at 6.55 because they're going on an excursion and the bus leaves at nine. I keep tricking them that it's 10 past nine. Oh, I'm so naughty. <laughs> oh my God. Is that not the cutest thing? In normal family situations, the older brother like punches or beats the younger brothers. I like trick them by saying, guys, it's not nine, it's 10 past nine. Oh no, jokes, ha ha ha, I got you good. God, I'm an awful older brother. <laughs> you know what? I'm actually really proud of myself that that's the meanest I can be, is to tell him it's 10 past nine. That's as mean as I got as a kid. God, no wonder my brothers beat me up so easily. Audible is a leading provider of spoken word entertainment. And because it's a new year, new me, and I'm trying to live a better life, I've decided to become a member and use their guided meditations. Kumbaya. You can have that one for free. You can download titles, you can listen to them offline. Great when you're on the plane and there's a screaming child and you're like, no, thank you. I'm gonna listen to Tanya read me her book. Tanya wrote a book and it's on Audible and I'm not jealous because I'm trying to write a book. I did this book. It's amazing. What a read. What an absolute... Oh, I can't put it down. Look at all the spelling errors. It doesn't make sense. Like this book is much better than this book. I'm not saying Tanya you're a terrible writer, but what I'm saying Tanya is this is literary geniusness. Tanya, can you compete with... Oh my God, year 12, ah! No, she can't. It's not just audiobooks, it's podcasts like Conan O'Brien's on there and Goop. You can listen to the Goop podcast. You can get one free audiobook, two Audible originals and a free 30-day trial. Just visit audible.com forward slash Hull or text Hull to 500-500. Now, let's go back to talking about the book that really should be on Audible, My Diary. I go on to say, hi, me again, in case you forgot. I just got home from school. Hear what I did first. I did English about cats. Why we hate cats, but I don't. V, we finish the man from Ironbark. I will write for you sometime the, it was little lunch after we did art until lunch after we did art again. The, it was assembly and after it was the end of school, bye. What? I don't even understand any of that. This one was written a week later. Dear Journal, I went to the movies to see The Lost World with my mum. <gasps> I remember that so vividly because it was really loud in the theatre. It's the Jurassic Park sequel. And I spent most of it um, blocking my ears because it was so loud and scary. Oh my God, I was 10 when that came out. The Lost World came out 22 years ago. I went with my mum, brothers, a friend, Samantha. Mum took me. I really enjoyed it so much that I want to see it again. Oh my God, that's a lie. I was terrified. You know what? That, you, I remember lying in here because I knew, I think as a 10 year old, I knew what this was. Like I knew this was my mum and dad trying to get me to divulge secrets about my life so they could be like good parents. So they could like say, you, you say anything, it's a private journal. And I knew my mother, no it wasn't. She was gonna be, she, I knew she was reading this. So I remember um, wanting to write things in here um, and then thinking, no, 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 because my parents will get this and they'll see it and read it. And so I remember lying about things because I was terrified in the lost world. But as a 10 year old, I knew not to say anything about being gay at all in here. Even though when I turn this page, you will be able to tell I was a big old gay bow. The Spice Grills. <laughs> Look, it's the Spice Grills. <laughs> the Spice Grills. See, even as a 10 year old, I was thinking about steak and grilling it and spices and just food. There's just so many subtle food references. I was destined to grow into this body of a 
turnover eater. Honestly, this is the greatest find at all. It's quite long. There are so many. Oh my God, look, the 2000 Olympics. So I wrote in this for years. I'm gonna have to do a part two and maybe a part three. So there's all these like high school photos. I wanna show you how cute I was as a kid. Look, oh my God, it doesn't even look like me. Look how cute I am. Oh, I'm so cute, you're so cute. And then you grew up into this. <laughs> look, I actually, oh no, I have a soft, I have a soft jawline there as well. Maybe I'm never destined to have like a really chiseled jaw. Cause look, even at like four years old, it's a soft jaw. But you, my friend, grow into this. <laughs> uh, run. Um, before he blossomed into me, he um, he took a turn for the worse. Oof, this is embarrassing. Um, this is me in high school. This is year twelve, and um, look, I would have bullied me as well. To be fair, look at that. Like honestly, what is that? This doesn't even look like a child a mother could love. Yet I had two wonderful, beautiful, adoring parents who were nothing but lovely to me. I would have kicked this person out. Ugh, you disgust me. So now when I'm feeling down, um, I just look at my fridge and go, well, it could be worse. You could look like this. <laughs> ah, dear. And I don't anymore, thank God. I look like this. Can you see? Look at the soft jaw there. Can you see why I grew a beard? Hello, my name is Baby Christian and I wanted to let you know that Adult Christian is replying to everyone's comments for the next 48 hours. Oh, that's bullshit. I don't want to have to do... I mean, yes, Baby Christian. I am. <laughs> so leave something. Something interesting. Don't just be boring, okay? Replying to comments for 48 hours. Because I've got nothing on for the next two days. So I thought, oh, I may as well just do this. <laughs> Love you.